Sammy, uh, top one to take, given the second mm. half comeback. Um, how are you feeling? How are the boys feeling? Yeah, good, I think. Um, you know, it's been a hard, hard period for us. Um, obviously, these, these last two Premiership games were key for us, and um, you know, we got a bonus point in the end, but um, I think that we, we probably uh, put ourselves in the right position to win that game, and I um, thought the boys showed incredible belief um, to come back out at half time and um, you know, put ourselves in, in place to win, but unfortunately, um, you know, a couple of calls don't go our way and you know, we, we don't get over the line and um, you know, that's life, but you know, I think there's, a, there's definitely a lot to build on, especially in defence. I think we showed you know, really, good, um, really good spells in defence and you know, they're the best team in, in England or there or thereabouts. So I think uh, uh, you know, we've got a lot to take from and I think we've got to, you know, the only way is up really for us now. I think that we've, we've got to take the positives out of that. We're not back down to where we were you know, a few weeks ago. We, we kick on now. What was the message at half time? Because obviously you come out and, and record a, a 19 6 second half. There must have been some words from Jordan. Or well, I think we just, the, the start of the game, I think we were there mentally and, um, you know, we, we probably scored two tries there, neither get given, um, which is, you know, that's, that's the game. Um, and then after that, we have a 10 minute period where I think we just dropped off a bit. You know, they score, you know, a runaway try off a ricochet of, of a, a grubber kick and, that's one thing, and then they, they scored two more tries, which were pretty soft on our, our behalf. So, other than that, I think you know we did everything we could. I think we we beat them up physically at times. I thought our forwards were brilliant, and um, other than them three tries in that you know nine minute period, you know we were there. And um, I think that's the hardest thing to take is that we've, we've made such big improvements in areas that um, to not get a win today is is yeah you know, it's a tough one to take definitely yeah. Ultimately, attitude as well was something that was, I guess, the highlight of the second half. That no one wanted to give up for one, but also wanted to fight their way back in and, and fight their way in front of a, a loud, loud crowd. Yeah, I think half time, especially, we mentioned belief a lot that, you know, do, do we believe we can win this game? And I think everyone who took to the field, everyone who came on, had that belief with us. And, and that, without being cringy, is, is what, you know, playing at home at, for Tigers is all about. And I think the fans probably could see that and you could tell with the volume of them today that. You know they saw a real Tigers performance, but at the end of the day, it's still we don't deem it acceptable to lose at home, whoever the the opposition are. And um, the main thing is we're disappointed to lose. But I think there are you know a lot of positives we can take on, and we've just got to keep learning each week. For you personally, Leo Vegas fans' favourite. Nice to know the <coughs> the correct. <laughs> Sorry, that you wasn't know, a sarcastic cough. Pick, pick, up, pick up your lung there. <laughs> um, nice to know the crowd thought you you gave. How did you feel about your performance? Yeah, I thought you know, you know, me personally, it was my first first Premiership start this year, so um, you know, I was excited to get out there, and um, you know, it's probably a game that suited me a bit. It was a bit less of a wide, expansive game, and a bit more kicking and tackling from my point of view. But you know, I think the the main thing is that you know we get you know a few good boys back now. Um, not that the boys that are playing aren't good, but you know, we get a few international boys back now, and. There's, there's a lot of positives to take away, you know, our, our, our coaching team are all on the same page, the players are fully, you know, behind them and I think that there is a lot of positives, it's just now we've just got to, you know, switch switch these results around and, you know, we're sixth at the end of the day, so not the worst position to be and we want to be in that, that top four and that's where we need to be, but, you know, we've got another good game against Bristol now with them boys back and there's, there's, there's no reason why we can't go and get a victory at Ashton Gate. I can't let you go without asking uh, Matt Smith turn back the clock tonight with that try. Yeah, I'm positive that wasn't him. That, <laughs> that was there's Lucas Ambrosino. They used to look exactly the same, and I think I think Lucas may have came back because he. There's no way Smithy's got that in his locker. There's no way. But no, it's unbelievable. You know, it's a good moment for him, and it's that's why it's just so disappointing. That was one of them, you know, yeah. key moments where we score and then. They've got 13 on the park, and then we don't come away with the victory ultimately. So that's that's the reality of it, really. But you know, good to see Smithy, uh, you know, sprinting for old time's sake. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah.